Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Zoo School Live. This week we are celebrating Volunteer Appreciation Week. And so today we're gonna be focusing a little bit on the interns who volunteer their time and help us to care for our very large collection of animals, both on exhibit and in education here at Elmwood Park Zoo. So we're gonna take a little bit of time today to talk with them and find out all about what they do here. And if you are interested yourself, they might even have some tips and tricks. Of course, joining us today are our giraffes, uh, Daruba, Ger uh, Gerald, and Makolo. They're just gonna be providing moral support for our interns on their very first Zoo School Live. So let's do some introductions. We'll start over here. Just tell us who you are and how long you've been interning here. Awesome. And how about you? Hi, my name is Corey. Uh, I've been an intern here for about four months now. And I plan to stay throughout the summer for another four months. Awesome. Thanks, guys. So we have a few questions we're just going to ask them about the general experience today. So um, how did you find out about this internship? And Sydney, we'll start with you. Awesome. All right. And what about you? Similar to Sydney, I've been going to Elmwood Park Zoo my whole life. Um, I used to come here a lot when I was little. And I was browsing around the ACA website, which is the Associative Association of Zoos and Aquariums. And they have listings on there for different internships and jobs. Um, and I found Elmwood Park and I said, hey, I used to go there all the time and I loved it there. So I applied. Great. So you both are keeper um, interns right now, so animal care keeper interns. What exactly does that mean? What does a typical day as an intern look like for you guys? And is it the same every day, or is there a lot of different variety? How about we start with you over here? Yeah, so every morning we start with a meeting to go over you know, what happened the past day, if there are any issues, uh, if any animals need any special care. Um, we have that vet staff and the entire keeper team, and then um, us interns go to the barn. So the barn has chickens, sheep, goats, and mini donkeys. Um, so we, that's our pretty routine morning. And then after that, we get sent to our areas. So we could be here in the hill or out on the prairie with bison and elk. Um, we could be in the bayou or aviary pond. Um, and then we, from there, we see what help needs to be done and we take care of all the animal husbandry. Great. And then, Sydney, do you want to just mention where we are right now and how this plays a role in what you guys help with today? Yep, so this is obviously our giraffe farm. So this is where our giraffes live whenever it is nighttime or if it's too cold outside. So this is one of our most difficult areas to clean, if I have to say so myself, because as you can imagine, these guys make a lot of So it looks like you guys were in the middle of doing some cleaning this morning. <laughs> yeah. So tied into that, what is the hardest task you think you've had to do or help with so far? Do you want to start, Sydney? I would probably have to say just in general, it's a long day. Um, doing a lot of moving, getting things done, getting things done. Yeah, and what about you? Um, so I would agree that they're very hard on days. Um, one of the hardest parts is saying goodbye to animals, uh, whether it be them passing away from old age or if they're moving to another facility. Um, in my internship, I had to say goodbye to Chrissy, the goat, um, who is a very beloved goat by everyone. She was super sweet. And we also say goodbye to Luna from our Jaguar. Um, and she went to another facility, but that is probably the hardest part so far. 
Yeah, great. So on the other side of that, what's your favorite part of the internship so far? Go ahead, Sydney. Uh, obviously, the animals. Um, <laughs> it honestly doesn't get better than this. Um, you get a lot of pretty close interaction with the animals, not necessarily you know, touching them or anything, but you get to interact with them and see them and interact with them. And it's a lot of fun. Um, Awesome. I think being able to interact with the variety of animals we have here, uh, being able to care for them and provide husbandry, uh, and also we have some opportunities to inform the public. Um, as animal care interns, we're not so much um, talking to the public as education interns were would be, but um, sometimes we get to you know we get asked questions um, about what we do, and it's very rewarding to be able to. Great. Do you guys have a favorite animal that you work with or care for? Me personally, it's a three-way tie between these guys, um, the bald eagle, and the carrots. Of course, I love the carrots. I love Zach the zebra. Uh, <laughs> we have a Hartman's Mountain zebra named Zach. Um, he is the best boy ever, and I love him so much. Great. So. You guys are, you know, getting a lot of experience. You said you kind of get to work in many different areas here at the zoo, participate in all different types of husbandry, um, and even potentially, you know, observe training and vet procedures. Do you guys plan to work in the zoo field? Like, what are your future plans after this? How are you hoping this internship will help you? Um, funny question. Right now, my plans are actually to go into dental school. Um, but as I mentioned, I love caring for animals and, and uh, raising awareness about their so, as a part of that, I want to be involved uh, later in life. And I also want to specialize and learn about animal dentistry. And hopefully, you know, when these guys have problems and the vet staff needs to bring in specialists, I will be able to come in and help out with that uh, because I will already have experience with them. Very cool. What about you, Sydney? That's great. Any advice that you guys have for potential future interns or anyone interested in um, starting to intern here at Elmwood? Now, right now, I can say that our summer internship is completely full, but we will start accepting for the fall relatively soon. Um, so what advice would you guys give to anyone interested in the field or interested in coming to Elmwood? Awesome. Yeah, I'd have to agree with that. Um, if you're, you have any interest, you think you might have an interest in interning or working in animal care education, um, research, do a little research, see what's out there, check out AZA or AZAC um, to see what positions might be out there. And don't hesitate to volunteer, just get involved and see if you like it. Great, thanks guys. We do actually have uh, one or two questions we'll ask. Um, so, what animals have surprised you at how, how cool they are or fun to work with? Maybe something you weren't expecting initially coming into the internship. Is there any animal that really like kind of caught you off guard and, wow, they're pretty cool? <laughs> yeah, you know, um, I definitely underestimated goats, I'm going to be honest. Now, I love the goats. Um, they're super awesome. They're part of our daily routines. In the morning, we go see them. Uh, I love being able to pet them and hang out with them. Um, also, the eagles. That's great. 
We also had a question, um, is there an area in the zoo that's your favorite to work in? So we did ask about what your favorite animal was, but is there a particular space, um, exhibit space, that you really prefer or really enjoy? guys and there's is there anything you've learned so far that you didn't expect to maybe about yourself or about zookeeping in general this was another question that just popped up feel free to take a moment to think about it if you need to yeah. <laughs> um, well one of the most obvious things for me is I really learned how hard work um, you know, working at a zoo is and caring for animals I always read online that it's not just playing with animals and it's not just you know you can pet them and hang out with them it's actually a lot of hard work uh, Awesome. Anything yeah. to add there, Sydney? Definitely agree with that. It's a lot more than people really anticipate it to be. Uh, more than just juggling things all day, that's for sure. <laughs> um, but I definitely surprised myself with my ability to work 10 hour days. Um, and if you think you can, you can. It's really a great experience. And I'd say we've been doing a pretty darn good job. <laughs> Awesome. You guys have. Well, thank you so much for sharing your um, input and your story. And we, of, of course, here at Elmwood Park Zoo are ever grateful to our interns and volunteers for all the work they provide because they really are a crucial part of caring for our animals. We are going to pop off of Zoo School Live here in the draft barn. And if you stick around, another live will pop up in just a moment. We'll be interviewing our education ambassador interns. And they'll be over in our education space. So thank you again, guys. If you want to give a little wave goodbye. And we will see you in a few more minutes.